did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA-400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA-400. You need to find that polymer container right now. Okay, yeah, I'm out. Of <sighs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of uh, kind of cylinder. Find that yellow cylinder, or we're screwed. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename. Major weapon. Please select the desired procedure. Entry number one, April 16th. The mutations... What? Down! Schnitzel! Bad dog! Ah, uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. 
The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extends its stems in the corresponding direction. Honey, what's for dinner? Interesting. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak. Indeed. <laughs> This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being... ...the fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. Thank you. 
That's the last platform we gotta get to. Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. He won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. I gotta go. No time. Hey, Charles. If I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks. Yeah, I have to. To hurry. Crispy critters. I'm trying. That took way longer than it should have. But you know. These things happen, I guess. Log number two, April 19th. I've been studying the Hamblock particles under a microscope and that's all. I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. Endocytosis has been pesticide job. level decreased. Shoot. Now at four percent. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? This well it explains how the plant feeds itself. Grabbing food with its stems, for example. Just a sec. What are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. You need to know about the plane. Now your dog uh, eating shit. Later.
to die! Okay with me. You first. Seriously. to get it here? Shit! Not like that! That won't kill it! You were supposed to blow it up! Damn it! What do we do now? It's awake! You gotta ignite the polymer! Give me your cigarette! You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah! Die, you prick! Oh, shit! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run the prick! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to Have us, we're dead! Are you aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm, I'm trying! Hurt. I'm trying! Fuck! Oh. No! Help me! Get it off me! Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. I seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. I don't know, I feel like building a cannibal plant that makes people in a zombie plants that are Access not going to the last of us is not a good plan.
mostly it sucks the guy that helped us kill the guy that played with us and died. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Hey, now let's freeze it up. Cryopod canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. The peg awesome. birch tree vegetative power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. We're gonna see a lot more canisters. Well, other than being far more work than what it was worth, it sure is a pretty tree. Like it's, it's a really nice fucking tree. Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Hold on. I want to check something out first. Ready now? Yeah, I'm ready now. Let's go. I swear. Charles, I go into how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something, like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all. Along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Anyway, like I was saying before I got cut off, if I see another underground retro Soviet future underground facility, it'll be too soon, too fast. I know I said that in the most convoluted way possible, but I got interrupted and the words were mushed. Man, this is a long ass elevator. Of daylight again. 
We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Fading data. Oh, how I've longed to see the day once more. Okay. Film about the history of the complex. Just as beautiful as I remember it. Shit, Chelas. What are they doing? They're repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently dangerous. You can keep going. Just ignore them. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me.